it's still Disability Pride Month, so I figured I'd come and do another video. Today I want to talk to you about the spirituality of having a disability. Now this is a lot, this is something that a lot of people struggle with because they'll ask, why me? Does God hate me? Does God exist? A whole bunch of questions come from some people when they have a disability. My perspective on life in general and specifically life with a disability is we all get to choose. Now, I really like Randy Pausch saying, you cannot change the cards you are dealt, just how, the, how you play the hand. But I do believe that we do get to choose how we are born, what lessons we are meant to learn in life. It doesn't mean we're gonna learn them, that's within the human experience, but we sign up to have certain things placed in our path in order to learn and grow from them. It's not to make us suffer. That's our own doing for not learning the lesson and seeing it differently or doing something differently. This could be for a broad spectrum of things. It could be for anybody's life, but I'm just speaking specifically because I am in a wheelchair for people with disabilities. Uh, not speaking for them, but speaking f for the sp spiritual journey of living with a disability because everything is spiritual, everything. I'm a big proponent of the law of attraction. Um, I'm getting back into it because like I said, I'm human and we all have emotions that we have to work through, things that happen that frustrate us, upset us, you know, different things we have to get through. So sometimes it's you just got to go back to the basics and it's great that we have it. You know, nobody's perfect. Nobody's going to be perfect um, with their journey. So it's good to have something to refresh. But yeah, I strongly suggest if you don't have some type of spiritual path, and I will never preach to you about what kind that is, at least, at the very least, know that there is a purpose and it is never to punish you and it is always to either redirect you or help you and propel you on your path even if you feel like it's holding you back you're the one holding you back because of how you're perceiving it and in my opinion the powerlessness that you're assigning to it it's a time where you find your power you don't lose it or give it away Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video for Disability Pride Month. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on TikTok, please follow me and share this video and share the video on uh, YouTube and any other social media that you want to share it on. Share it with even one friend that you feel could be struggling and wants a little bit of inspiration and motivation. Alright, thanks guys and I'll see you next time.